Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Just me in peace out to the rest of you. You already know who it is and who it ain't. It ain't your boy and it is your man. The blackest hearted, blackest minded, blackest man on social media sign of black and shining again asking you to hit the mother cuss word share button because the message is more important than the messenger. So, uh, I'm getting ready to leave the city now and uh, then we'll fly uh, back to where I have to, where I live and work. Um, <clears throat> listen, I'm going to say this uh, briefly about two things. Number one, in case I forgot to say it last time, uh, this is going to be about BGS's challenge to people to prove the 80-20 rule. Shout out to BGS. You're not going to be able to do it. The phenomena to which the Pareto principle refers is that of many women choosing the same few men. Yeah, that you will be able. I mean, that's already proving itself in front of us. It's not up to you to prove that. But we like to turn around and take things and describe numbers to them that aren't that exact. And that's not actually very accurate or very truthful. We need to stop that. We don't know what the percentage is. We do know that there is a tendency for many of them to go after the same few men. I mean, you, I think on a recent Kevin Samuels video where he told ladies, you want a high value man, they're going to come with competition. She's like, well, they shouldn't. Why, why the hell not? The tasting men are simply not that different. And I just wish they would be honest about that, especially so in the West, because they have that hive mind. We all know about that too. You're not gonna be able to prove right now that it's an 80-20 though. And it's not your fault. And BGS is not saying this to spite you all or to mock you, but this is to teach us a lesson. You can observe a phenomena without trying to sit up here and ascribe numbers to it. Anyway, next thing I wanted to say was about White Boy Summer and Chet Hanks. Chester Hanks. Um, unfortunately, we saw he got attacked by his girlfriend, and uh, they're not playing games. Uh, she just went ham on him. Somebody did. <laughs> Somebody hit him with something that broke the skin on his scalp and uh, left him, unfortunately. Uh, bleeding. Um, look, as for why she hit him, that's actually pretty unimportant. The fact is that she hit him and she felt okay doing so. And so people might try to turn around and try to use the game's uh, past history of relationships against him. But look, the fact means that whatever his history is, uh, he was right about something. It's very important to remember. At the end of the day, uh, Chet is not built for that level of anger. Nobody is. That woman's not built for her own level of anger. Most sisters in art, they never were. So you can't just alpha your way through them. And they've got the system backing them up. So in reality, black man and white men, you got to understand the only mistake that, that the game made when he talked to Chet was when he told Mr. Hanks to go back to Becky. Becky is pretty much as bad, except it's just a little bit more on the tail end. That's what we have to keep in mind and remember. Becky might be worse to Chet than sisters or maybe not. I mean, I don't know of him ever saying that uh, he had this issue before, but he got the right one this time, whoever she is. He ended the relationship so she attacked him. That's what they feel like it's okay to do. This is a Western phenomenon. It's not just sisters, and I kept saying this. You cannot be, as Edward Allen Anderson has been saying, you can't be red pill for sisters and blue pill for others, especially for other Western broads. So we gotta cut this mess. And I've heard some people say, I've heard some sisters say, well, you know, when it's a Latina with all that attitude, you call it sassy and feisty and y'all like it. But when it's a sister with that attitude, y'all won't check us. Well, in actuality, um, as far as I know, a lot of black men aren't gonna tolerate that from a Latina either. But I mean, that to that level, and the two probably are not the same. But what I do know is that I myself and many other brothers get just as sick and tired of a high Bristol philic 
sister with the neck rolls and finger snaps and the attitude as we would if it's a Latina who's equally high bristophilic because you got some trifling ones too. I think the difference oftentimes is in how they're going to treat the men. I mean, with a Latina, you pretty much got to cheat to get them angry or disrespect them. Hell, you disrespect them, they leave you. You probably won't even be attacked unless you cheat on them and disrespect them. With a sister, you know, it was always that crap test. Always trying to chin check a brother. And those sisters that ain't like that, they're out there, but they're taken. And if they say anything about how they can keep a man because they don't do this, y'all gang up on them. So let's call this what it is. Chet Hanks scenario, Chet Hanks situation. I don't know how much of it was his fault. What I do know is that he got the brother treatment. I'm not for us being with them per se, not at all. But I can tell you that that problem is real. And it is a sister problem. Because when I think back on it, not a single solitary non-black woman has ever given me the same type of grief. And I can't say that I really gave them a whole lot of opportunities to do so either when I think about it. And that's saying a lot. And other brothers have had similar experiences. But not a single solitary sister has given me... Um, the same grief, even if I gave the opportunity, like when I work with them in class or something like that. And my son sent me a message yesterday. He's traveling now when the state's first time flying within the U.S. May God keep him safe. And he said to me, he remembered high school. He finished it two years ago. He remembered something very important. And that was that he, even he, although he was not, he was not, uh, he didn't have these extra good grades. He wasn't um, the class valedictorian. But because just because he wore glasses to correct his vision, he said sisters wanted to work with him in group projects so they could leave all the work for him and then turn around and act like they were so smart. And he, they would get mad at him when he would check them on it and say, look, I will do this and you do that. Or I will do that and you do this, but we're going to split this work that they would get upset with him for suggesting a division of labor. He said it wasn't nobody but a few ratchet Latinas and sisters, and on occasion, maybe a Becky that wanted to be down. This is a serious problem at the end of the day. And by the way, let me say something to, to Locario about your video. I don't even have to look at it, bro. If you actually support the idea that broke men don't deserve to be with any women, nigga, you stupid. How many people around, how many people on the planet are going to have a surplus of wealth? Men or women, white or black, American or not. How many people on the planet are going to have that? Most people don't have much. That's the way resources work. They're not considered valuable if everybody has some abundance of them. That's the end of that. They got a whole bunch of women out here with vaginas and breasts and working wombs. They got a whole bunch of dudes out here with, uh, you know, the working outside parts, outside oh, outdoor plumbing, if you want to call it that. Male and female lust are far more legitimate concerns for people to have and to address than the materialism of either one. Nigga, you need to study economy and inflation before you say something that doggone stupid and entitled. You sit up here feeding into the entitlement of materialistic broads. Uh-uh, bro. Like I said, this is a war, dummy. I'm not even saying this out of hatred, but that was really stupid of you to say without having sat in one class about economy and, uh, uh, and inflation. The minute ain't a broke dude around, all that's going to happen is that we're going to be right back where we got started. The problem is, sir, that women do not know how much they have to appreciate and respect men who do things for them because nobody has taught this to them. They act the way they do, like your wife with the open relationship demand and request, because she can. I think I've said enough. That's my rant for today. Thanks for listening. Black heart, black mind, black out, assalamu alaikum, black heterosexual, non-select male power, and black patriarchy until extinction or judgment day, just because they don't like it.